Hello everyone, in today's video we will see the behavior of heat capacity in solids. So we let's quickly start with a classical model. In classical theory, we are taking the 3D lattice having n atoms. So we can now make a similar system assuming that there is a 3n atoms in a 1D system. So in total we have all the 3n atoms in a system. and second assumption is like all the atoms are behaving as a harmonic oscillator so let's take let's take average energy of an atom to be e bar now there are total this total number of atoms in a system is 3n so total average energy will be 3n e bar so we are using the integration to find out the this is the total energy of the system and this divided by this to through this we are going to find out the average energy of an harmonic oscillator so it's a simple integration we have to use the integration by parts so so this is going to be e we are going to integrate it with 0 to infinity so e the integration of the second function that is e exponential minus e by kbt comes out to be minus kt this putting the limits then minus this taking out the minus kt out and differentiating the first function that is e del e by del e 0 to infinity and then the second function is kbt de so this is going to be 1 and in denominator we have this integration whole integration of minus e by t d so simplifying this we get our average energy comes out to be kt then 0 to infinity e minus e kt by de divided by 0 to infinity e minus kt de this whole integration term will cancel each other and our average energy comes out to be kt so our average energy is kt so total average energy is 3n kt so now we have to find the cv the heat capacity at constant volume comes out to be del E by del T where total energy is 3 N K T so this is 3 N K so classical theory gives us that the heat capacity is independent of temperature so this is a classical theory this value is 3 N K so classical theory gives that the CV is independent of temperature. So this is the result given by classical theory but 
we have seen experimentally that there is some dependence the cv is not constant all throughout so at low temperature there is some dependence over t so we are going to use the quantum theory that is einstein model first and then day by model with some modifications so we are going to see both these models in the next video and this is it and thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel